Good morning, my neighbors. morning guys I have a webinar starting in three minutes I think the brand is launching a new product so they sent me a delivery box and I'm trying to open it right now just before the webinar starts let's see what's in here There's so much stuff in here. I have some macaroons. Mm! A cold brew tea kit. Now, I'm not really a, a tea person. But this is useful. And then we have some ultra sun sunscreen products. Got quite a few actually. But the webinar is starting. So I'll run through these after probably. Let's listen in. Outdoors um, and, and how she's come to, to find Ultra Sun. Um, and a bit also about what we've been up to overseas. Environment, how we treat our skin, what environment we put it into, whether we live in a polluted area, the industry standard or the EU regulations as were that we adhere to is a 33% filter. That is the norm that it will absorb 33% of those damaging long-term rays. Whereas the ultra sun, we actually adhere to the international highest global standards, which happens to be Australia. So you're getting a 95% UVA protection. So growing up, um, I never wore sun cream because we were told that we didn't need it as black people. No. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, it's hot. Always, hap <laughs> it's always hot. happens to me. That's the thing. Back up, I put my hair back up. Put that with my hair back up. I put my hair back up. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, today is Wednesday. Uh, yesterday, <laughs> after the Ultra Sun event, I basically didn't pick up my camera again because I was working throughout the day. And being that I've literally just gone back to work after like two and a half weeks of holiday, there's a lot of work I have to do. So throughout this whole week, there's a lot of work I have to do. But um, I just put the camera down after the event and I didn't even say bye or anything. But hi, it's Wednesday. Hello. Today I had a shoot, which is why I'm looking like this. I didn't get the chance to explain beforehand because I was washing at my house, as usual. But um, I'm back home now and this basically is the finished look. We did two looks. Unfortunately, that's four. We did two looks. Unfortunately, my battery died, which is why I actually didn't record before going because I was like, oh, I forgot my spare batteries. And I wanted to try and record as much of the shoot as I could. This second look, I couldn't get because my battery died. But since I still have it on, I thought I'd show you on camera. Obviously, it doesn't look as glam now that I'm not wearing my wedding dress. I don't have my wedding earrings on and things like that. But it's still very nice. A red lip, a very bold look. And I wanted to like show you my hair, really. Because the girl did such a good job. Beverly Frimpong on instagram the makeup artist is sarah signature you guys already know i've been plugging her so do your thing follow her book her and then beverly frimpong she's someone i met today but she specifically asked of me so thank you for choosing me to be your bride for the day i appreciate you guys for thinking of me and doing this marvelous makeup and hair look on me so yeah that was today I feel very hollywood glam like if i were to go to a Hollywood glam party <laughs> if I were to go to is it 1920s kind of party this is probably the look I would go for it's very extravagant very 
bold and beautiful. I really like it actually. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll get to see. Get to see some of these things. Just follow me on Instagram. I always post, I always post on there. Well, not always. Well, sometimes last minute. I always post, uh, just just follow me on Instagram, you get to see everything that happens behind the scenes and the pictures that come out of it. I'll see you probably tomorrow, guys. She's, she's famous. Guess where I am? <laughs> Obviously not at home. <laughs> I'm vlogging! Hey, boo! Say hi to your friends. Hello, everyone. Promote yourself. <laughs> promote. Buy my book. <laughs> Buy my book. Amazon. Go ahead and promote anything. I know, right? I'm just so lazy. Not lazy per se, but she's just not. I don't a know how to. Woman. Yeah, I don't know how to do that. I just feel like if your if your book or whatever you sell is good, it just does the talking for you, really. Mm. But, and I come back. I'll come back full force. Anyway, I'm at Bell's house. I'm working. Yay to work. Yay to work. I just got here, that's why I'm still get up. But I'm about to eat suya and I wanted to show you. Suya made by me, of course. Belle. Suya made by Belle. <laughs> well done. Thank you. Uh is this in your book? I forgot. No, it's oh not. no, the chicken one is in the book one. Taste test. <laughs> Vlogging is not easy, no? Mm. Anyway, I'm going back to work, so... <laughs> Just want to say hi. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> These yummy cakes and cookies are now calling my name. The lady who made it didn't want to be on camera. I think I'm going to indulge in some cake. Well, I'll continue the working day. Well, I've got another hour of work left, so... And I actually have a vlog I want to edit as well, so... I think that will be what I'm doing for the rest of the evening. But then, Belle might be making jollof. So I might want to record that too. So I'll see how the rest of this evening goes. But um, that's the update so far. I don't really like icing. I always remove icing. Cake is good. Not too sweet. Mm, just right. Mm. update i'm still here you guys i'm so cold um so i haven't actually taken off my jacket or anything but this is life the update is Bo's making the jollof in the kitchen as you can hear she's on the phone so because i didn't want to disturb her conversation i'm not actually recording her i'm sitting outside editing i want this vlog out by this weekend so currently editing it it was three hours initially you guys let me let you know I record so much content, like I almost record everything that I always end up with like three or four hours worth of content and I always have to cut it down to about 30 to 45 minutes. So currently it's on one hour 43. I'm trying to get it down to 45 minutes. I don't know when this particular vlog's coming out because um, what's happening tomorrow? I'll probably still be at Bell's. Saturday I'm going shopping, food shopping, and I probably won't be bothered to carry the camera around. And then I'm going to be editing this, editing some reels over the weekend. So really there's nothing I'm doing on the weekend. But I'm thinking of coming back here next week. Oh, I do need to wash my hair on the weekend as well. You right? Yeah. So yeah, I'm out. I need to focus on editing. I probably won't say bye, so I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, my neighbors. Good morning, my neighbors. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Hello. Oh, are you recording? Sorry. You're on my YouTube channel. Oh, hi. <laughs> Long time no see. I was saying that I haven't seen you on Instagram and everything. Hey guys. So as I was saying. Good morning, good morning, good morning. As you can see, I'm in my onesie. Enjoying life, fam. Fam! Got my hot water bottle. So I just had to take it out from inside. <laughs> Got my hot water bottle. Mm. She's doing me wonders. I think I'm getting a cold sore, you know. 
it's really painful and because i'm not at home i don't have my is it called zavorex Zavor there's a cream basically that i use to put straight on but usually when i get a cold sore it signs that i'm tired and i think because i've gone back to work this week like my body's just not adjusted yet like i've been feeling tired but i'm in a good mood the sun is shining through the window i'm in good spirits right now i'm working so there's not much i'm going to be showing you but i just thought i'd say hi good morning it's friday the weekend is upon us i'm thinking of staying at bells till saturday but i have a lot to do at home and now my code sore is going i actually want to get rid of it before it gets bigger today's friday we've got the clubhouse room the business of influencing talking about management again this week because a lot of people up had questions and concerns and wanted to know the purpose of management and stuff when we did it the first time around so should be fun so i'll be on twitter tweeting about it under the hashtag the business of influencing because i know like i'm talking about it late on youtube and um, just follow me on instagram you guys get all the tea on instagram in real time i think i said this the other day as well but if if you want to see anything that's been spoken about over the last seven weeks then just go on twitter and look for the hashtag the business of influencing and you'll see all the gems that were dropped and also if you want to join then follow me on clubhouse at miss mary mac you can follow Esther at s estare e-s-t-a-r-e or you can follow chloe downs and anytime the room is up then you'll get notified and you can join in yeah it's a really good room mm, am i hungry i'm not really hungry yet but i haven't had breakfast i don't really do breakfast to be fair but i'm not hungry yet i'm just feeling this thing coming up on my face i decided to get some food so here i've got a bit of jollof rice and some soya and some turkey as well yeah, so just gonna eat this. I think I need some hot water. I haven't had hot water today. That'll warm my body up. Come and eat, guys. But that's why it tastes nicer today. You know, do you, do, does that ever happen to you? You make food on the day, it tastes nice, but then the following day it tastes even nicer. That happens to me often as well. Like, I'll make stew. On the day, I'm like, mmm this is nice but then the next day i'm like oh this is banging you know when the flavors have actually marinated and seeped into every i don't know part of the stew this jollof because yesterday Belle was even complaining that it wasn't it wasn't up to her usual standard that she wasn't too impressed with the flavors and stuff now she can see it's actually really nice This. What a melon sugar, huh? What a melon sugar. What's a melon pineapple and blood orange? It's sweet, I don't know why they think I'm trying to. Taste to test. <laughs> Tastes good. Mmm. Moses. <laughs> Watermelon, guess. pineapple. No, don't tell her. Let her drink it and guess. Watermelon sugar. Hi. Don't use for coffee. Can you say we don't even drink coffee that much? So why do you drink it? The kids. I drink the kids. <laughs> why would kids drink coffee? <laughs> nice. It's nice, isn't it? What is it? Pineapple, what? Pineapple, pineapple watermelon, watermelon, and blood orange. Yeah. <laughs> Which really I mean, good. see that we are looking for. Did you record it? Huh? Did no? you? Yeah, I don't have energy. Energies. I should have recorded Shall it for you. Yeah, oh. and I don't have energy to be recording these days. Why now? What about YouTube? I have videos lined up. Hey you guys, I know it's a bit dark, but can you see? Can you see how I'm rocking? My onesie. I've got my socks, my trainers. Obviously I've got my scarf because it's cold in London. Got my hat on top of my headscarf and wear my hood on top. I actually look like a G. No one can tell me anything really. I know it's really dark here, but picture this. 
I'm going home. I've decided that I want to quickly wash my hair before joining the clubhouse at seven. The next day. Hey guys, it's Saturday. It's been three days since I've had my shoot. And as you can see, my hair is a hot mess. So I'm going to wash it now. I'm actually going to do this as a separate video. But because I received a package from a brand, I just wanted to unbox it here and then like I'm going to do a separate video on all the products. It looks so pretty. I love the packaging already. So this is the leaflet. It says pure, exquisite, wholesome. I'll run through this on a separate video, but this is what... Oh, maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> maybe I shouldn't unbox it. Yeah, I should unbox it for the video, but I need to use the products. Okay, so this is what it, I'll just add this into that video probably. This is what it looks like when it comes packaged. Equi Botanics is the name of the brand. And they actually, they sent me their, this set has a name. Let me just go on the brand page because going through my emails to read. I don't have time for that right now. This is their Afro Afro hair care growth set. It usually costs £119, but on the site at the moment is £99. So the set includes two masks, a leave-in conditioner and a hair elixir. So there's no shampoo? Okay. First thing I'm going to show you is the Babasu Deep Treatment Hair Mask. And it looks like this. Next we have the Equibuds. Botanics Marula Oil Leave-In Conditioner. I really like their packaging. This is what this one looks like. I'm actually going to show you in the, in the video. So Then next we have Hair Elixir. And this is Black Seed Hair Serum. I'm going to use my own shampoo because this stuff needs to come out of my hair first. Cool beans. I got it sorted. Now I know what I'm doing. So yeah, I'm just going to... So there's no shampoo. Now when I come out of the bath, so all these things can be used out of the shower. So technically I don't need to record myself in the shower. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. give you guys a try on haul and I just wanted to show you guys that I really meant what I said I really was trying but from all the things I've purchased from Mango, Zara, Simi, Misguided, Nasty Girl all the things I purchased look at them they're sending me back to the post office because why none of them fit like I'm now carrying all these packages like they're big packages you know carrying them straight back to the post office because 
I need my money back, clearly. So I apologize I didn't deliver on what I said I was gonna do, but I tried. Hey guys, it's Friday the 26th of March and I'm about to drive to Belle's house. So I thought I'd pick up the camera and let you know that's what's happening. <laughs> um, I last picked up the camera two days ago, I think, when I went to the post office to return all the goods that I had bought. As you can see, we have a new friend. Uh, this happened to just be a spot. It wasn't a code store. But now, we've got this going on. But it's okay. I'm just leaving it to do its thing. I've actually made myself a cheese and turkey bacon sandwich. So I'm going to eat that on the car on the way. I'm about to drive to her house because it's lunchtime. And I can get there in 20 minutes. So I want to use my lunch break to quickly drive to her house. I find that I work better at her house because I'm sitting down in one place. When I'm at home, I start thinking of all the other things I could be doing whilst working. So um, my mind's always distracted. But I want to end off the week really well at work. So yeah, about to go to her house, help her with some content. You'll probably see my face from time to time. And... I'll stay there probably until about 6.30 because I want to come back and join the business of influencing room. I'm going to be tweeting for them today and the topic is mistakes, um, mistakes you could avoid, mistakes you can avoid, yeah, as an influencer content creator. So um, that should be interesting. So anyway, enough chat. I told you I'll be leaving by 11.45. It is now 11.47. So... Time to get myself on the road. I'm just wearing my cap because my hair's in twists. These are the twists I showed you earlier on. And I've left them in their um, stretch position with the bobby pins because I'm not doing anything to my hair. So yeah, I'll see you in Belle's house in a bit. We day inside. We dear. <laughs> I'm actually going to help her take down this Christmas tree now because we're in March. There's no excuse. I'm actually going to help her take it down. She said she was going to leave it up until next Christmas. Imagine. Behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. I'm a content creator. Mm -hmm. Yes? Mm -hmm. Chops. Goat chops. Goat chops, standing here I'm not really helping because you know one of those ones where when you now get into the kitchen what what's the saying too many cooks in the kitchen spoil the, the broth. broth but I'm capturing content for you guys and for Belle so technically I'm still making myself useful I mean where I'm gonna be most needed is in the eating part so you know I'm all for it but today Belle's making is it sweet potato pottage? Uh, yam, yam pottage. Yam, yam and sweet potato pottage with goat chops. Do you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking of making, instead of putting the vegetables in the yam. Yeah. I'm thinking of making the vegetables separate. On the side? Yeah, we're going to have sweet potato, yam, and then have vegetable. Okay. At the side, and then the chops. I think it's going to be more appetizing that way. Yeah. yeah. And, and you'll get a nice picture. Yeah. I think. Should we do that? You should try. Creativity at its finest. Boxing time is the best time. There's always an unboxing in this vlog. <laughs> what do we have here today? Oh, wow. Why am I sounding so excited? Okay. So, this is a five piece set by Ninja Foodie. Zero stick five piece set. Durable and long-lasting. Has anyone used this? Leave comments. Yes. 
in the comment box below. 10 year warranty. A serious something. Warranty. It's a serious something. I like that. After you spent so much money, I know, why right? would you not have warranty on it? Mm. Oh, that's nice. This is pretty. I know. Jesus Christ. This is real packaging. Oh, really? I like this part. Look at that. Look, it, it feels like cast iron. Mm. So strong. This is the real deal. Oh, wow. It's heavy. Really? Yeah. This small thing is like weight in my hand. Oh, my God. I like it, to be honest. This is my honest review. Let's see what you got to cook with it. Oh, it's black one. Yeah, it's small, isn't it? Mm. Do they have bigger, bigger I think this is the biggest one. Ninja, I think you need to consult with an Asian and African household because we use huge pots, okay? We use like double this size. Please, if you need testers, eh? You can come and tell you how big the pot you should make is because this alone for a family of four for stew. It's, it's not big enough. She get. I think I'm using this for my yam, but I don't think it's gonna work. How about this one? No, it won't fit in. It will be like falling apart. I'll use it for my vegetable thing. Mm -hmm. That's our unboxing done. So it's got a very sturdy handle, <laughs> and it's got Ninja written on it actually, as you can see. And this. <coughs> light give me light okay and this is what the inside looks like and the back all of the back has this mm. bottom base right yeah. ninja foodie written on it yeah they're very um steady very strong boxing done let's get back to the core of the matter every time i come to bell's house She's teaching me about some Nets kitchen appliance. There's already two things new that I've found in her kitchen today. And how many times have I come to Belle's house? How many times am I in the kitchen? And every time she's showing me new appliances. As in, you know when Suffolk is your passion, right? Hmm. There's certain things I wouldn't have thought about personally. I mean, that's what my hands and a knife is there for. That's what a scale is there for. Belle will now bring x y and z and you'll be like this does this not make your life easier come see this one now come see this one what should we call this manual chopper you don't know what you don't know you know Just like that. Just like that. And you know what? My eyes aren't crying. See me see wahala. Why do we like suffering, please?
the standing posture. You know, stand up. Put a bit of light like this for me. Okay. Yeah. Let me try with my phone first and see how it looks. Wow. Finally, we eat. Mm -hmm. Day in the life of a content creator. Mm -hmm. Food content creator. Mm -hmm. Mm. I said I'm going to help you take down your Christmas tree. So you guys, look what Belle's done. She's kindly given me three of the pops. I'm about to go home and whip her, whip her for dish. I'm really not because you guys know I don't really like cooking like that. But it's good to have these pots. So far, so good. Bell, did you like? It washed easily, right, Bell? It washed easily. Quite nice. So, I've got something I need to do to send off for work later. So, I'm about to leave hers, let her rest up. Whilst me too, I go home, finish my work for the day. You can probably see food in this one. That's because Bell gave me some yam porridge and meat as well. So, you guys sort it for tonight too. No cooking for more. Don't you just love friends that take care of you? So yeah, catch you guys in a bit. Hey guys, it's Sunday. I'm on my way to Sarah's house. I'm spending the week there. See how packed out the car is. I've taken so much stuff because I want to create content whilst there. And also, um, the kind of person I am, I never know what I want to wear. <laughs> so I almost took the whole house. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully I get the content I want to create done because of all the stuff i've packed i also took some like food that's in the fridge that needs to be eaten before i come back so yeah i got quite a few bits and bobs um she sent me to the supermarket before coming to her so i'm just gonna go there now get some spinach for her and then be on my way you guys know my camera doesn't stay when i'm driving so i'm not going to record myself but i do have a vibe in the car i'll be playing some jams like one day maybe you'll get to see but for now just wanted to check in obviously once i get there i'll check back in as well i'm gonna wrap this vlog up today and hopefully i have like enough content f for you guys to see i did take quite a bit of um content at bell's house when she was cooking so this vlog should be enough for this week but yeah i'll catch you once i'm at sarah's house and we'll go from there basically hope you're all well and i'll see you soon you guys, I got the spinach. One pound thirty for one, you know. Everything is getting costly these days. Anyway, it's telling me I'm gonna be an hour. It's gonna take me about an hour to get to Sarah's, so time to move. the vlog hello so I've reached as you can see so Rafina saying hi to you guys hello um, <laughs> I'm really tired I'm really tired so I might catch a nap or I might just um, watch some YouTube videos and then edit this vlog thank you for watching guys I will see you in my next video please like comment share and subscribe and I'll see you soon <laughs> Fina the makeup artist. Oh gosh. My mouth is really sticky though, isn't it? <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Yuck, Fina. <laughs> <laughs>